What's up? Today, I'm gonna to talk to you again about RPL. RPL is something that I've been thinking about for a bit now. Uh, it's the rating for perceived learning. I took this idea from this um, guy named Gunnar Borg, and he came up with this concept called rate of perceived exertion. And it's used by trainers all across um, the globe. And uh, it's based on a 10 point scale. Uh, basically one might be uh, you're hardly moving and you're not exerting any energy. You could talk. Um, a three might feel like you might have heard of like the running talk test, uh, which is kind of uh, an easy pace for you. And so that's like a three, a seven might feel like uh, you're at a higher tempo, you're, you know, running a 5k and a 10 is like an all out sprint, like a hundred meter sprint. So rate of perceived exertion is used by a lot of trainers, especially in Peloton, where they're talking about like how to think about how much effort you should put relative to what your capabilities are. And I thought this was really interesting because this idea of kind of your own personal growth and how you push yourself is always been interesting to me. And so I came up with um, my own scale. And uh, for those of you who actually watched the video uh, and you asked me for it, then I can send you this. Uh, but it's a scale of one to seven. And uh, the way I've been thinking about it and testing it out is there are these levels and as you think about different things that you do each day, um, you could think about like what uh, rating of perceived exertion you might be at. And so it's actually not good to, at least from when um, I've been testing this, it's not good to be at the max level every single day. You just can't sustain it. Uh, it's not realistic. And actually there are benefits to being at different levels, just like with training for races or cycling or anything, there, is, there are benefits to doing both endurance, strength, and speed training. And the same thing happens with learning. There's like benefits to just listening and paying attention to uh, sharing and collaborating with folks to actually transferring the knowledge and um, uh, developing kind of the next set of ideas and through creativity and such. And so while we may think that it's good to be at kind of the peak levels, it's actually, that's not correct. And, and you wanna actually understand how much time you need to spend in each of these zones and, and that's critical. So anyway, uh, that's the thought for this week. Um, I'm gonna continue to push RPL a bit more and it's gonna get more refined, but I, I think it's something that is very tangible for people to use to reflect on how they learn each week. and. Uh, perhaps if you want to give it a try, uh, let me know and uh, just start using it and let me know how you find it to be helpful or not helpful, uh, whether the um, levels of intensity make sense to you. I'm interested in that feedback. So, all right, like I always say, don't compare your insights with other people's outsides and love blended warriors. Talk to you later.